And now, a few minutes with Andy Rooney. Those are the words that can divide a country. And now, a few minutes with Andy Rooney. Within that introduction lies a man who many consider to be the original safe thrower. And now, a few minutes with Andy Rooney. A man who tells it like it is and has almost defined the very way of telling it like it is for decades. And now, a few minutes with Andy Rooney. When personal preference comes back with public perception, a battle of the generations ensues. Generations past and present are brought to war. What one man's word can make him either a hero or a pariah in the hearts of mankind. Now, a few minutes with Andy Rooney. One might sum him up as the lazy man's poet laureate. I'll damn well decide for myself what I can say and what I can't say. And now, you can spend a few minutes, 60 minutes, 120 minutes, or as long as you see fit with Andy Rooney in this gem of a find, Common Nonsense by Andy Rooney. What's basically summarized as a diary of rewritten commentaries up to 2002 on a big, everlasting reality show that I call Life. And it's many, many episodes. This is Common Nonsense by Andy Rooney. The legendary commentator for 60 Minutes on CBS. Addressed to the reading public on the following interesting subjects. Food, drink, money, sports, politics, religion, education, the arts, home life, work life, health, doctors, people, travel, and progress. Here's just a little taste of what you'll see in the book, which retails at about $25. And I got it for $3.99. On education, you meet a lot of dumb people who went to college. The weather, the best thing about winter is you don't lose your sunglasses. The best thing about summer is you don't lose one glove. The English language, when someone keeps saying, you know what I mean, it means he doesn't know what he means. You know what I mean? Food. If the dietitians who think about new weight loss diets are so knowledgeable about food, why don't they tell us why it's so hard to stop eating peanuts once you start? Technology. The fastest thing the computer does has become outdated. The human body. It would be good if we could close our ears as easily as we close our eyes. Coffee. Someone sent us a box with five bags of assorted coffee flavors. They were almond, cinnamon, hazelnut, French vanilla, and amaretto. If I want the taste of hazelnut, I'll have a hazelnut. If I want coffee, I want coffee. Driving. The drivers of trucks that have signs on them saying call this number if the driver is discourteous are usually driving too fast for you to see the number. And that's not all. Sports. Every time they list the baseball player's batting average, they ought to list his salary next to it. Fasten. If we all came back to Earth in 100 years, it seems likely we wouldn't find men wearing ties. Restaurants. I don't eat at a restaurant that has a sign outside saying, Home Cooking. If I wanted home cooking, I'd eat at home. Health. Sooner or later, everything we've ever heard about staying healthy turns out to be wrong. They'll probably decide chicken soup is bad for you. Typical Comanchen Rooney. That's a quote from Mike Wallace there. There's the table of contents, and quite frankly, any topic that you want Andy Rooney to talk about is in here. Daily life in America. Food and drink, health and doctors. Politics. Entertainment and the arts. Learning. Work life and success. The writing life. Home life. Animals. Big issues. Progress. People and places. Discounting the preface and acknowledgments. Some of the preface is listed right here on the back. I do believe that this is the one before it hit Mass Rocket. Most people find some reason to be proud of what they are, no matter what they are. I saw a young man the other day wearing a black shirt with big yellow feathers on the back that spelled Rigby Plumbing Inc. I was glad he liked working for Rigby. I'll bet they're good plumbers too. He would be proud of working there if they weren't. Typical Comanchen Rooney. And yet, that's what made him special. 
he could turn a mundane topic and make fantastic television, as Steve Hoffman put it. And, uh, I'm not ashamed to say that I'm actually really liking his commentaries on YouTube. You type up Andy Rooney here on YouTube, you'll find a treasure trove of 60 Minutes commentaries. He did over 1,097. I can't guarantee you'll find them all, but I can guarantee you that he's had a lot of fun writing those commentaries. Type up My Lucky Life. That would be his last commentary on 60 Minutes before he passed at the age of 92. In any event, Andy Looney is one of a kind, an American treasure in journalism and in literature, who is sorely missed by everyone who tunes in to hear that ticky stopwatch. For whenever they hear a ticky stopwatch, they're in for quality reporting and quality television in general. Say what you will about Andy, all the 1,097 commentaries he delivered, but I think his son Brian can sum it up best. Andy Rooney, chronicler of the particular. This book was bought for $3.99 and retail price is $25. Now that's a bargain. I wonder what he had to say about thrift shopping. Chances are, it wouldn't be good. Or it would be good. I wonder what he would say about millennials. Chances are, if he was alive today, us millennials would be giving a big talking to about our conduct in America society. Thank you folks for watching. Hey Andy, I just want to know one question. Has CBS ever prohibited you from doing one of your commentaries because they thought the content was too dumb? No, they did not. I'm proud to say that no CBS executive has ever stopped me from saying anything, no matter how dumb it was. And me too. I'm Mike Wallace. We'll be back next week with another edition of 60 Minutes. Those are the words that can divide a country. Those are the words that, 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 that. <laughs>